Hey friends, it's time for another um, Kellytown Kids lesson. So I hope you had a good weekend. And if you saw the title, it's Are You Tired? So I know you're like, it's six o'clock. I'm not tired. I'm not ready for bed. Right? You see, I've got on PJs, right? Yep. I'm not really ready for bed. I just did that for my lesson. So this morning, um, Preacher Matt talked about um, Sabbath rest. Now, the Sabbath, in case you don't know, that's our day of rest, and we take that on. We consider the Sabbath to be on Sunday. Um, and so, what God wanted was because He, when He created the heavens and the earth and all the animals and the plants and people and everything, He worked for six days, and on the seventh day, He rested. Well, He expects, expects us to take rest also. And so, we get tired a lot, don't we? So, maybe um, you've had ball games all day, and when you get home, you're just ready to go to bed, right? You get tired. And sometimes we even get tired in our hearts, don't we? Well, God wants us to rest. So, I'm going to read you a couple of verses in the Bible about rest. In Matthew 11, verse, starting in verse 28, it says, Come unto me, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So, and these words are in, in my Bible, they're in red. And maybe if you look in your Bible, they might have a line under them. But we know that words in red or underlined words, that means that was Jesus talking. So, Jesus says, come here. Come here. If you work. And we all do some kind of work, right? I always tell Hallah that her work is going to school, being a student. She doesn't get a paycheck like I do at my work, but that's work too. And we all have work at our houses, right? So maybe you've got chores you have to do. And he said, are heavy laden. That kind of maybe sounds funny, doesn't it? Well, what I thought about that was if you have maybe things that you worry about. Just because you're a kid doesn't mean you don't worry about things, does it? Maybe you have, uh, maybe you're learning your multiplication tables. That can make you worry, can it? You might have a test. Maybe you've got a big ball game coming up. You've got um, your spelling list you're trying to study for. All those things can make you worry. So just like grown-ups, kids worry too. So he said, come here and I'll give you rest. Now, do you know what rest means? Sometimes it means to, to lay down and take a nap or, or it's time to go to bed at night. Sometimes it just means sit down for a minute. Catch your breath, doesn't it? So if you play ball, sometimes you rest by you go sit on the bench, you go sit there on the sidelines and you catch your breath for a minute, you get a drink of water and you rest. Sometimes it means that something leans on something or lays on something. So have you ever been told to get your elbows off the table? Maybe. So what you're doing is you're putting your elbows on the table and you're resting on your elbows, right? And your elbows are resting on the table. So you lean on it. So if you lean on Jesus, then he's going to give you rest. He's going to give you what you need. The next verse, verse 29, it says, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest for your souls. Verse 30, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Do you know what a yoke is? So a yoke is what they put on the neck of an animal like oxen or mules or great big draft horses so that they can pull a heavy load. And so sometimes it's just one that pulls, but a lot of times there's two, there's a team, they're a pair. Well, so what they're doing is they're sharing that load. So instead of just one great big ox pulling it, it's a pair. And we know when we're carrying something heavy that if we split that between two people, that makes it easier, right? It's a whole lot easier for me to carry something heavy if I have a friend helping me. And Jesus will be that friend who'll help you with all those heavy burdens, those things that you worry about, but you got to let him. And the other thing with yokes, because I was reading about this before I started my lesson, um, that I thought about is that not only are they sharing that load, 
but they've got to stay together, don't they? Because that's something that's, that's around their necks and it's holding them together. So one of them can't decide to go way over here to the left and the other one keeps going straight, can they? They got to stay together. So what we would do is we yoke ourselves. We, we, we put ourselves right together with Jesus and then we're going to go where he goes. We're going to go where he wants us to go. Now, the other thing is sometimes when you've got two animals that are yoked together, one of them's the boss, okay? And that one that's the boss, you know, Halla just got home from her nana's. Do you hear the doorbell? The one that's the boss, which is what Jesus should be for us, right? He should be our boss. He should be the one that guides us and leads us. If one of them wants to go over this way, the one that's stronger, the one that's in charge, he leads and he makes sure that they keep going in the same direction. So when we might want to go astray and go somewhere and do something we really aren't supposed to, you know, we've talked about the Holy Ghost, that it gives us guidance so that we can remember what we're supposed to do. Then if we're staying with Jesus, guess what? That's going to happen for us then we're going to keep doing what we're supposed to do. So when we stay yoked with Jesus, then that's what's going to happen for us. And then in verse 30, I told you it said, <clears throat> For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now I told you that a yoke is for animals that are working really hard, right? They're pulling a heavy load. Um, maybe they've got a great big wagon full of, of hay or something. I don't know. Well, that doesn't sound like it's easy, right, or light. But you know what? Because Jesus is stronger, then Jesus is doing the more work. He's going to he's gonna hold all that burden, and we're just kind of going along with him. So if you're tired in your heart, if you're tired in your mind, just like you do when your body gets tired, just make sure you rest. And the way that we do that is we take whatever our worries are, whatever we're nervous about, and we take that to Jesus so that we can rest. And we rest by leaning on him. All right? I hope you have a wonderful week. I will see you next time. Bye.